Hello, and welcome to Park Ventures of Geraldton, the only show that uh, dives to celebrate the success and beauty of park benches in Geraldton Regional WA. My name is Julian. And I'm Joel. And, and you're watching, watching Park, park Benches, Benches of, of Geraldton. Geraldton. Too often we take the headlines and the iconic images of Geraldton as, uh, as what are really truly representative of this beautiful community. But this show is all about those undersold heroes, in particular park benches. Just like finishing a good book or waking up before your alarm goes off or even finding a chip in the bottom of your McDonald's bags, park benches are the unsung heroes and special moments that turn community spaces into community homes. You know, actually, I really couldn't agree more, Julian. You see, the park bench is it's just the property of all common mankind. Even a throne such as this one, it's just a bench wrapped in velvet. It truly is the people's seat. And this show drives to ex uh, explore the park benches of this community uh, through several reviews that we'll be doing tonight. Uh, Joel and myself, uh, particularly uh, passionate park, be park bench sitters and critiques, uh, have, have combed the entire community to find four of the best park benches that we want to share with you today. Our first park bench, actually, Joel, I believe you said we sent Joel out to the Homemaker Centre to review our first park bench, didn't we, Joel? Yes, that's right, Julian. I, um, I went off to the Homemaker Centre today and I sat on a lonely, unloved bench. It, it really evokes those feelings of sadness inside of me, you know, to think of all the partners and the children who've sat on their bench waiting for family members inside, shopping at stock take sales, really. Let's take a look, shall we? I really do have to say that even though there were those attached feelings of sadness, I quite love that park bench. It's not much to look at, but it's the other senses that speak to it, you know. You can always hear those vibes that it emits and get a sense of what it would feel like to sit on that. Mm, I have to disagree, actually, Joel. I actually find the texture the most striking element of this bench. Uh, the, the, the sorrow and the emotion that it evokes really brought me back to my childhood. Uh, particularly a fond memory of uh, sitting on a bench waiting for my father, <laughs> who of course never came to pick me up. Ooh, that was a naughty bench. 
Oh, I love a good bench, that, uh, especially one that likes to hide a little bit between the, behind the poles and the bushes, <laughs> don't you, Joel? Oh, I've seen a lot of benches in my time, Julian, but that bench, you know, it was really, really something else. I particularly like the, one of my favourite things about this bench is uh, how it sits there on the North Coastal Highway and uh, Phelps Street, that's a bit of a tongue twist to that one, Phelps Street intersection, uh, and uh, one of the busiest intersections in town. So, you know, if you're ever, if you're ever feeling a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit overwhelmed in life and uh, sick of the rat race uh, and want to sit down, take a moment and take in the busiest intersection in Geraldton, uh, it is a really calming influence uh, that I was actually quite surprised about. You know what they say, Julian? Stop and smell the exhaust fumes. <laughs> they definitely do, Joel. They absolutely definitely do. Um, we, we, this is, that, that was uh, particularly one of my favourites that we went out and visited. Um, but we do have other benches to get to. Uh, I liked that one in particular. I found it a little bit naughty and a bit saucy. Um, it, it has brought something out of me and awakened something in me that I haven't felt for a long time. So uh, thank you, uh, Northwest Coastal Highway and Phelps Street Intersection Bench. I thoroughly enjoyed my visit. I must add the impracticality of the bench and the view in which was something that touched me deep inside. But I think it's time for a very special segment, my favourite segment of the week. Letter of the week? Yes. Ah, oh, fantastic letter of the week. Uh, and a big thank I've you to it. out there to our, uh, to our uh, avid bench supporters, benchies as we like to call them. So <laughs> It sure is. <laughs> I've got a letter um, here from Jenny this week. She writes, Dear Joel and Julian, I just wanted to say a big thank you for all your work in raising awareness about the park bench loving community. The work you're doing is inspiring to all us park benchies out there. My friends and I, ever since we were kids, used to spend a lot of time at Back Beach playing. I look back so fondly upon that time. Recently, I was thinking about the past and my dedicated love for park benches, and I remembered that deep in the sand dunes at Back Beach, there once was a park bench that has now been long forgotten. She continues to write, please, can you help me realize a young, boy's, a young girl's dream and help find this long lost park bench? Jenny, when we got your letter, this brought us to absolute tears. It moved us in ways that we, we never thought would be possible on this show. When Joel and I started this journey many years ago, uh, exploring the beauty of park benches, we didn't expect to uh, be reaching so many of you in such emotional uh, and, and, uh, and highly impactful ways. Um, this story actually forced us to add an extra segment in the show this week. We were only gonna, uh, we were only gonna review three park benches but we have squeezed this special one in here because it awoken something in me that I just cannot control. Um, so Joel, I think we're gonna, uh, this, this bench was an absolute beauty. We, we had to go and uncover it. We had to go find it. And, uh, and uh, I'm getting a little bit fluttery and hot under the collar just thinking about it. But uh, let's, let's cut to the video. <laughs> certainly looks like you had a fun time with that bench, doesn't it, Julian? 
I didn't like that bench. I'll be honest. It, it doesn't look like that. Was there anything that you wanted to, you know, share with our viewers about that bench in particular? Uh, I found it. Um, it was there. It was in the bushes. It was a bench. And that's all I'll say. So, um, uh, so we have a we have a fourth bench um, that we would like to show. <laughs> um, sorry, oh, I just got a little bit uh, thrown off by that last video. Uh, we have our final bench that we are going to show tonight. This last bench was was something special to me. It had been a few years since I'd visited her, but um, she just she has a real solid consistency. And the really, it really provides stability to a bench sitter, you know? Yes, this is one of the benches that I actually spotted in my youth, and it's been there for quite a while now. Uh, and I actually pointed out to Joel, being uh, obviously uh, a little bit older than Joel now, he hasn't had the chance to, um, to meet a, a new bench in this way. So it was a really good opportunity for me to point it out for him uh, and send him along to visit an old friend. Uh, here's the video of uh, Joel's bench review. Let's take a look. I'm going to be honest, we need to stop doing this show. Um, I, th I think it's got a little bit out of hand, Julian. I actually uh, don't think we should... Um, yeah. Uh, now watching the videos back, I... Um, I left my girlfriend for that bench, man. I dumped her. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, having to sit here and watch um, us review benches is actually shown a bit of a light on what maybe other people see when they see us talking about benches. So um, I, think, I think we need to go to Benches Anonymous. I think that we need to not talk to each other again. We should go our separate ways. This is never to happen again. Agreed, 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for uh, Benches of Geraldton. Next week, we'll be back to talk to you about our favourite camping chairs. Good night.